Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. My name is Sahil. I'm a death metal musician. I'm also the author of the recipe book called Keto Life. And today I'm going to be making a delicious and yet another Keto Chili Corn Carne. Yes, I've already done not one but two chili corn carne recipes on this channel already. And if you click here on the i button, I'll link you to the five ingredient one. But today's recipe is a little more elaborate, a little more flavorful and it is delicious. I promise you that. And a fun fact, I didn't know what chili con carne was till 2011 when one of the first proper Tex-Mex restaurants opened in Mumbai city and I got to taste it. Of course that restaurant doesn't exist anymore and if you try to order chili con carne in a restaurant in India today, you would be hard pressed to find one that serves it. But anyway, that cannot stop you from making this dish at home and trying it out. So enough jibber jabber, let's get and make it. Let's get and make it. Come on Sahil, you can do better, you got practice. So to make my chili, I'm going to get my frying pan on the stove and I'm going to heat up about a tablespoon of avocado oil. Into the avocado oil, I'm going to add a tablespoon of butter. And then I'm just going to heat it up and let that butter melt. Once the butter has melted, I'm going to add in about 100 grams of sliced red onions. Now normally I would dice the onions for this recipe, but I'm looking for a sort of different texture today, which is why I have sliced the onions. But feel free to add diced onions if that's what you prefer. Now I'm just going to cook the onions on a medium heat till they soften and become translucent. This will take about 5 to 7 minutes. So be patient. Make sure you keep giving the onions a good mix and that they are not sticking or burning. And once you've cooked the onions for long enough, it's time to add in some minced garlic. And of course, give it all a good mix. Now ladies and gentlemen, there is something special about the smell of garlic frying in butter. Trust me, it is a heavenly smell. And now you want to cook the garlic till it's nice and golden brown. We want to extract the maximum flavor from the onions and the garlic. Anyway, once you fried that garlic and it's turning golden brown, in goes our ground beef. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't get my hands on 80-20 ground beef, so I'm just using some lean beef. This is not really a problem, but if you can get 80-20, nothing like it. Also, if you don't eat beef, you can do this recipe with any ground meat. Lamb, chicken, pork, anything will do. Anyway, make sure you give the beef a good mix and let it fry. You don't want the beef to clump up, you want to break it down. So sort of separate the meat as it cooks and you'll see you get little sort of granules of beef. You don't want clumps or meatballs so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, you can see what's happening in the pan. Now we're going to season the beef and I'm going to be seasoning it with some salt, some black pepper, some paprika and some cumin powder. And I'm also going to throw in a sprig of rosemary. And of course, rosemary is not a traditional uh, herb used in chili con carne. But like I said, this is not an authentic version. I'm using rosemary because that's what I have at home. Normally, I would use fresh oregano and marjoram. These are the two herbs I would put in. But once again, if you've got rosemary at home, it's cool. Thyme will do as well. Dried oregano works too. Anyway, give that all a good mix. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to add in some tomato puree. Now you can use store-bought puree, you can use fresh tomatoes, no problem. I'm also going to add a beef stock cube. And I'm also going to add some water. Of course, alternatively, you can just add in some beef stock. And we're going to give it all a good mix, ladies and gentlemen. And we are now going to cook this with a lid on for about, I'd say 20 to 25 minutes at least till all the flavors get married together. And it's going to be a strong marriage, ladies and gentlemen, one that doesn't end in divorce. Anyway, cover it and let it cook. And of course, after 10 minutes, don't forget to just open it up, give everything a good stir to make sure nothing is sticking and let it continue cooking. Anyway, after about 20 minutes of cooking, my chili looks like it's done. 
but of course always taste your chili and now that I've tasted my chili and I think it's absolutely perfecto well I guess it is done now before serving my chili I am going to take an avocado and I'm going to cut it with my knife all the way around and as you can see life is not perfect and neither is my avocado there is a bit of a bruised section but I'm just going to scoop that out with a spoon then I'm going to cut lengthwise along the avocado with my knife and use an even bigger spoon and scoop the avocado right out then I'm just going to season the avocado with a little bit of salt and a little bit of fresh lime juice just a few drops not too much anyway then I'm going to put the chili into a bowl and serve myself some delicious chili I'm going to put my avocado slices on top of that a dollop of sour cream ladies and gentlemen oh yeah and I'm going to finish it with some fresh coriander over the top and that's it ladies and gentlemen our chili con carne is ready and it's going to make one tasty meal hey folks so I hope you enjoyed that recipe and if you did please hit the thumbs up button and like this video and of course do subscribe to Headbangers Kitchen for more awesome keto recipes also a little fun fact about chili con carne and me well I had it nine years ago for the first time on Valentine's Day with my wife yep uh, we shared a bowl of nachos with some chili con carne or was it a plate of nachos with a bowl of chili con carne and uh, yeah and, and it's one of those dishes that we learned to cook together and yeah it's there's a little, it's a little something romantic about chili con carne and maybe that's also why it has a special place in my heart if you know what I mean but anyway enough jibber jabber I hope you will try this recipe and I will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen cheers and keep cooking Hey folks, just in case you didn't know, we have some awesome Headbangers Kitchen merchandise like the t-shirt I'm wearing right now. You can find the links below this video in the description box or on the merch shelf. And if you've already bought yourself a t-shirt or a mug or something like that, thank you very much. I do appreciate the support. Anyway, click here and try some more of our keto recipes or click here and listen to some of my music. I did tell you I was a death metal musician, right? I never seem to fail to mention that. Anyway, cheers.